Good afternoon, YouTubers, and welcome to another exciting episode of Clever and Maths. Today we're doing circles again, and it's finding the diameter and the radius from the circumference. So let's get straight to it. So obviously we've got a circle here in blue. The distance all the way around the outside of a circle is called the circumference. I'll label that C. And in red, I have written the diameter in. That's the line that goes through the middle from the outside. And now will label that D. Now, previously we learned that there's a formula for the circumference. The circumference is pi times the diameter. So we could rearrange this equation to find the diameter. Now, there's a few ways we could go about doing that. I'm going to use the simplest method. Whenever you've got three things connected together by times in, you can draw a triangle. C goes at the top, I draw a line, then you've got pi and D. So I want to work out how to find D given the circumference. So I cover D up and I'll read what it says, C over pi. I'll do that again. If I cover D up, it says C over pi. So I'll write D equals C over pi. So to find the diameter, I take the circumference and I divide by pi. And usually, most of the time, it will be a calculator question again. Let's go straight into an example. Okay, example one says, find the diameter of a circle with circumference of 40 centimetres. So our steps are, let's label the circumference C equals 40 centimetres. Let's label our diameter V. There it is there, and we always start by writing the formula. So the formula we've got, remember, is C equals pi D. Now we could remember that D is C divided by pi if we wanted to, but there's no point remembering a bunch of formulas when we don't have to. Remember one formula and then rearrange that to whatever we need at the time. So I'm going to rearrange this to get D, so I draw my triangle, C at the top, pi D at the bottom, separated by a line, I cover up D, because that's what I want to find, and it says C over pi, so that's what I write down, D equals C over pi, I'm now going to substitute, so that is 40 divided by pi, and obviously we use a calculator to work that out, which to one decimal place is just 12.7 centimetres. Same units as the circumference. Centimetres for circumference, so centimetres for my diameter. Okay, that's example one. Okay, moving on to example two. Example two says find the radius of a circle with a circumference of 62.3 centimetres. So this time it's asking me to find the circumference so it's asking me to find the radius instead of the diameter. So I still mark on my diameter, but to remind myself, I draw the radius in. I mark my circumference, and I start the same way. Now we know from previous lessons, or it should be obvious actually, that the radius is just half the diameter. So if I find the diameter, all I need to do is half the diameter, and that will give me my radius. So I start off exactly the same way, C equals pi D, I draw my triangle so I can rearrange it, C, pi and D, I cover up D because D is what I want to find out, so it says C over pi, so D equals C over pi, so the diameter for this question is going to be 62.3 divided by pi. Working that out in a calculator, you would get the answer 19.83. So we've now got our diameter. So we can go ahead and work out our radius by half in the diameter. A little note as an aside, I suppose, on this. If you look here, I've not rounded this. I've connected to two decimal places and left it at 2 because if I round here, I'm going to double round by rounding the radius as well, which is never, never a good idea. So now I'm going to find my radius just by halving, so I write down the radius, R 
equals 19.83. Divide that by 2. The unrounded answer is 9.915. So to one decimal place, R is going to be 9.9 .9 centimetres. And there you go, a short video on finding the diameter of the radius given the circumference of the circle.